This guy's almost complete. This yeah, is all this stuff dried. There's some stain on there, so it helps disguise it a little bit. Then we're finishing up the channels for the lights. Then we have to paint that. And then lastly, we've got a whole bunch of slats we're going to put on for the fence part of here just to kind of finish this prop up. And then this one's done. I'm going to attach this little piece of mesh as well. So this is right out of our imagination. You know, all we had was the, the horde is what this one's called, but it there's a drop panel that, when this was brand new, would drop and these guys would expose themselves, but we wanted to make this zombie scene. Oh yeah, we added, we added Jessica to the, the prop as well. Alright guys, we got about three more weeks to Halloween, so we're going to be busting ass on this. And ideally, we're going to be putting together three or four more platforms today to house all of these guys. And Poison Props was having a really good deal, so they contacted us and offered us these guys here at a pretty good discount. <laughs> um, so we added two more props to this year's scene. Hopefully we can get it done. So I think we're going to have a torture chamber. So we'll probably have, you don't know what's inside that box, but this guy just hangs from his intestines essentially. And probably put this guy with him. And I'm going to try to leave some room for me because I want to have, imagine the prop about this size and for this, this stage about this size and I want to leave enough room for me to be on there because I went to Transworld this year and I got myself one of those it's like a pretty realistic pig mask and I intend on taking a like a chain off a chainsaw and just chasing kids with that but yeah we are plugging along we got D3 in the house putting on the clasps for the rear doors so they don't flop around and we got Jerry doing some staining over here we got a time lapse going on in the corner that all posts as well, so hopefully you get to see some progress today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This year we're going to be framing this a lot differently than we had before. We're assuming this is going to be, hopefully not the case, but these long 12 foot platforms are going to be pretty tough to get onto this trailer. Uh, just because of the height and honestly the strength of it. So we're really beefing these up. We're going to 10 footers now instead of 12 and we're putting a whole bunch of joists in there. And we're putting a whole bunch of support beams in between. So we're going to be doing three sheets of plywood need to be used for each platform. So right now they're cutting those up for us and we're going to get those three pieces placed onto here. And after that we got these... Are these for the casters or are these for the top? For the top. Okay. That's a three footer. Okay. You can get them all cut and then you can square it. Yeah. That should lay right on that guy. There we go. Nice. Yeah, Woody. 
Nice. Okay, we got one pretty much put together. Just need to put the caches on. So we are pre-drilling the holes for the casters. Look at that, huh? Yeah, this is our this is our spec. Okay, I'm thinking it's probably lift it, huh? Yeah, should we use those carts then? Sure. Okay, got the casters on. We sandwich them in. See if I can show you guys. See that? They're framed in underneath. So they're going to be nice and strong now. Instead of having blocks in here, it's all framed out. So it should be really strong. Get on there, Long Dong. Is it strong? <laughs> that work? She can hold it. She can hold it. You need, uh, what's her name? Jessica. You need Jessica. Oh, that's good. Trying to get this 45 degree angle going on the front cage that this hunchback sits on or hits. Is that good right there? We can adjust him now, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Here's what staining these boards looks like. So we're painting all the adhesive that I put on here black so it kind of blends in a little bit more. And then here we are just staining them up. So I burn them and then we stain them. And they give them that nice weathered look. And then once that's done, I'll take this piece and I'll attach it probably right in front of here. Yeah, this looks great with the paint. cell made for this dude. We got him bolted in on the bottom. We had to figure out the right width and depth so he'd go side to side. So he'll be, he'll be going back and forth. 
side to side, hitting this, uh, hey, this steel, just like that. Yep, that sounds cool. We're gonna put this guy right here, and then we have this crazy ass one over here who hangs from her hands, and she'll go right in the middle. She just hangs. That nasty, got like some predator blood on her. She'll just hang right between those two, I think. Okay, this is 40 and 9 16 from here to there. We're gonna try to frame this in to complete this, and then I think we're gonna put the whatever this thing is called. I think we're gonna put one, two, and three on the outside of this. I'm trying to build some pergola looking thing that this crazy one right here can hold on to. So she'll be she'll be hanging in between these two. And she just crashes around back and forth. But she'll be hanging way up here. Sick. Hope you guys can hear me. Okay, we've been bouncing back to this one. We got uh yeah I do. How are you gonna get it up that high though? Make a stand for it. Alright. We clean this up, put in some channels there. Got <laughs> this piece of uh, fabric and then stain that up, and now we're working on finish up the fencing on the sides. Drip, 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 Oh, he just took it out of his hands. <laughs> Give me that. Give me that. Yeah. Where goes go my clubs, punk? Oh, and they push on his head. <laughs> The set is complete. Making sure all the lights work. Yeah, this one's on. Cats looks so this is gonna light up this whole side too. So she'll get hit. Got a little under tit action. Nice. That's Jessica. This looks pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. I can maybe put this burlap right here on the ground right here to staple it in or something. That's for the little guy. So that means his eyes are open. Also today the boys went and got all the stuff from the public storage. So we have all of our Halloween crap here on site finally for the first time. So between all of this stuff and the props inside, there's maybe 20 or so animatronics that we put up every single year. And again, all of these, like here's, here's Grendel. Someone was commenting on that the other day. They're, they're designed to be put into a standalone haunt, right? And we make them mobile. So we, a couple years ago, designed these. Uh, I guess you can call them platforms or carts. And that just allows us to keep things mobile. So we take all this stuff out once a year, set it up for the neighborhood kids, and then put it all back. But it's a lot of fun. We've got, we've got two scenes, I think, pretty much done. A crazy family right here. So these used to be on one platform each. Um, face off is new. But the other three were on a single platform, just like, Jesus, just like Grindel here. And then same thing in here. So these 12 foot platforms are gonna be the same size as we saw inside. And the next ones are gonna be making will be 10 foot platforms. Because we think that the 12 foot ones are gonna be a little bit tough to maneuver around. You know, we do put them on my grass, so it's, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of weight to push around. This one's one of my favorites. I'll go back here. Her and the witch. Where is she? There she is. Because she has random, yeah, this thing just looking at me. What are you looking at? This thing has random head movement. So as it's sitting there waiting to be triggered, the motion sensor's right down there. She'll randomly move her head. It's pretty crazy. That was our first one. She's my favorite. Nasty. Okay, we're using this little air compressor, so it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, 
is running out of air, but this is it. I think this one's done, minus a few pieces I have to get put back in right there. What do you guys think of this? Is, this is goes from, you know, I tried sharing from start to finish on this guy, and this is taking a lot of time, but this is what the end project kind of looks like. Then over here, I thought we'd get a lot more done than this, but all we got was the one platform made and the hunchback guy set up. So he goes back and forth, up and down, and he ends up like hitting the walls and the, the front with his chain. And we're gonna have, I'm gonna, I started a 12 by 12, I'm gonna make like a pylon. It's gonna go up here, about as tall as this. I'll make a little, like a beam that goes from one to the other. And that's what this person's gonna be hanging off of. And then we'll just have this guy kind of stash it out at the corner there. And then that's one platform. We'll get the stain painted here this week. For lighting, this is kind of what we're looking like. Man. All right, y'all, it's about uh, four, what time is it? Well, it's already four o'clock. I'm gonna end this video here. Um, seems to be a common thing. We're not getting as much done as we thought we would, but we made good progress today. Still a couple more weeks till Halloween. So I'm gonna do a video like this every week until Halloween. Take a break from the cars, but we'll get back to it because it's, it's the end of the season now. So I'm gonna start cleaning and organizing and storing the cars. We see back here. So as always, I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for more videos, thanks.